Howard Bailey McAfee, in 1938, compiled the story of the original Seventeen, a group of 14 boys and three girls who followed Reverend Dr. John A. McAfee from the Hufford home of Highland College, an unusual educational venture that included the trade of tuition money for labor, to Parkville, Missouri, where an institution of similar practice was founded between Dr. McAfee, Reverend Elijah Sherwood, and George Shepard Park. The institution, known as Park College, made its first home in Old Number One, a dilapidated hotel just off the train tracks in downtown Parkville, ruined by years of neglect, mistreatment by soldiers during the Civil War, and exploitation by local farmers. In celebration of Women's History Month, the Francis Fishburne Archives and Special Collections presents the following story of one of our earliest graduates. Susan Elrod was born to George and Nancy Mills Elrod, farmers, on January 22, 1856, in Tennessee, the second of three children. The family lived in Cedar Creek, Arkansas, until 1870, when both George and Nancy died under unknown circumstances. The children were split up. Sarah, 1854 to 1932, married soon after. William, 1860 to 1922, was sent to an unknown home, and Susan, known as Susie, somehow found her way to Dr. Reverend and Mrs. McAfee in the early 1870s. Susie was, from then on, known as a member of the McAfee family, joining her adopted siblings, Lowell Mason, Howard Bailey, Lapsley Armstrong, Clellan Boyd, James Arthur, Joseph Ernest, and Helen Bailey McAfee. Susie was a member of the original 17 students from Hufford Home that traveled with her adopted parents and siblings to Parkville in April of 1875 to continue her education at Park College. She graduated in 1879 in a class of four. In 1880, she married George Burwell Wilson, 1855 to 1901, an attendee of Drury College in Springfield, Missouri. The couple had four children, Edith, Alice, Clara, and John, all born in Parkville. Edith and Alice both graduated from Park College, Edith sometime in the 1900s, and Alice in 1903. The family made their home in Kansas City, where George Wilson made his living as a shoe salesman. In 1901, George died of a kidney ailment, at which point Susie and her children moved to Parkville. In 1910, Susie lived with her daughter and son-in-law, Alice and Ralph Oldroyd, who were located in Jackson County, Missouri. The family moved to Arkansas City, Kansas in the late 1910s, where Susie would die of a long-term illness on May 21, 1920. The Wilsons are buried in Riverview Cemetery, Arkansas City, Kansas.